We're losing our country. We're literally losing our country and our children's future. And I believe that we should be standing up with everything we have in Congress fighting the Biden administration because our own voters don't even want to vote for Republicans in Congress anymore. They want to vote for President Trump, but they are done with Republicans in Congress. We have to fight harder. We have to earn their trust and show them that we will stop the Communist Democrat Party from destroying our country. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojet here. And Marge the Trainwreck Green claims that Republican voters don't want to vote for the GOP anymore. Could she be right? Marge joined Turning Point USA founder Charlie Kirk on an episode of his right-wing podcast to bellyache about her usual list of grievances and to complain about the lack of support from voters. Republican voters across the country are sick and tired of Republicans because they never do anything to hold uh, hold this government accountable. Republicans go out on the campaign trail and go on TV and do their five-minute hearing videos and, and post up on social media and say all this garbage about how they're going to fight it and stop it. Well, I feel like many of the American people that think that Republicans in Congress completely fail them. I feel the same way, and I'm a, Re a Republican member of Congress. Not too long ago, Marge was complaining to CNN's Manu Raju on Capitol Hill about the same issue that she presented to Kirk. She claims that Republican voters have had enough of GOP House shenanigans and no longer support them. She claims that it's because they're not radical enough. The Georgia swamp monster complained that her voters no longer want to vote for Republicans because they're not harassing the Biden family. Remember that Kevin McCarthy was removed from the speaker's chair because he was not willing to harass the Biden family with subpoenas. Matt Gates filed a motion and McCarthy became the first speaker to get voted out of the speaker's chair. The radical extremists in the party wanted McCarthy to abuse his power more often and then removed him by a vote of no confidence when he didn't do their bidding. Marge had spent a lot of time in backroom deals with Kevin McCarthy and lost everything when he got canned. New Speaker Mike Johnson apparently doesn't want to harass the Bidens either. This is what Marge is mad about. Matt Gates may come to the floor in a matter of moments and we'll see what he does, but there's some talk about introducing a vacating the chair resolution. What do you, what's your message to folks who are trying to oust him and try to actually force that vote on the floor? I'm going to say that's going to fail and I don't support it. And Matt Gates is a dear friend of mine. Uh, he's one of my top allies and I'll always call him a friend. Uh, he and I are aligned on most issues, but I'm not aligned with a, mo a motion to vacate the chair and, and I'm not aligned uh, for this. I, what I'm for is Republicans coming together and accomplishing an agenda that serves Americans and Americans first. Marge is trying to play the victim and the hero at the same time. She wants viewers to think that she's suffering because she can't get any support for her cockamamie schemes. If the results from the country's last election are how voters are feeling about Republicans, Marge has good reason to be worried. MAGA lost big in races all across the country. American voters sent a clear message and turned their back on the GOP extremists. That really shouldn't come as a surprise either, considering their hypocritical attacks on women's rights. Republican leadership has done nothing but to try and make life as miserable as possible for many Americans. While military promotions are being held up over personal vendettas, GOP jackaloons are pointing fingers at everyone else, but can't grasp the fact that these actions compromise our military readiness. The Republicans seem to have given up on the notion of trying to lead. It certainly seems like their only successful strategy is sling mud at Democrats to distract away from their pathetic job performance. They are still voting no on every piece of legislation that could benefit the American people. Marge took the opportunity on the podcast to promote her new book called MTG. She even suggested that she wrote it herself. That is highly unlikely as Marge can barely spell MTG. It's extremely doubtful that she could manage to produce a book. Marge the train wreck green is just raising a stink because she's feeling irrelevant. She could be spending her time trying to pass meaningful legislation that would help her community, but instead she's crying about not being able to go after the Bidens over idiotic allegations. So maybe voters are just sick and tired of the lies. Maybe that's the message. Republicans are responsible for the overturning of Roe v. Wade and want to imprison women who travel out of state for reproductive health care. The GOP are still targeting Social Security and Medicare as well. Republicans try to present themselves as the family values party, while every other day one of their owns get busted for inappropriate sexual behavior with kids. So maybe voters are just sick and tired of the idiotic shenanigans. An entire generation will become voting age in time to vote in their first presidential election next year, and they are not leaning towards the Republican candidates. The election that took place in the first week of November are the shape of things to come. Once Marge gets voted out of office, she won't have the luxury of having someone else write a book for her.
She will likely have to go back to making cave paintings for a living. What an absolute moron. And that is an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.